Howdy folks and welcome to the next video and in this video we're going to do that dreaded that dreaded experience of converting fractions to decimals the the D word has come in so let's start in the garden here though uh, this is Jake and Liam's beautiful flower garden and we can say that 25 hundredths or one quarter of the garden are daisies and the daisies are these guys here. So one quarter of this whole group of flowers or 25 hundredths is daisies. And another 25 hundredths or one quarter of the garden is roses. And that's these ones here. We can say that 30 hundredths or three tenths of the garden are irises. And that would be these purple guys here. And 20 hundredths or two tenths of the garden are tulips. And that's the remainder right here. Now, how are we getting these answers? Well, let's work on that for a sec. Now, before we get going here, it's really important to remember place value. And we've done some videos on place value and we have ones ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, etc. But there's this decimal place right here, right there. And we're going to go this direction. We're going to explore this direction. So the first decimal place is called tenths. It is not called once. You'd think that would be the pattern here, but it's called tenths. Next is a hundredths and thousandths. And we've heard these words before with fractions. But now they're with decimals. And so when I say the word tenth, I can either be saying this or I could be saying this. And it's the same thing. So in decimals, this is one tenth, but this is also one tenth, tenth, tenth. And so they are the exact same thing. We're talking about the exact same thing because it's the exact same word. We can write fractions with denominators of 10 and 100 as decimals. There are other denominators that are multiples of 10 that will work but in terms of this year we're only going to talk about 10 and 100 uh, as decimals and so three tenths and that's the the green there three tenths is 0 0.3 and when i say three tenths because this whole block is out of 100 well three of these groups of 10 if i was to divide this all into 10 equal pieces it would be 10 in each um, so three tenths we can also write as this way and 15 hundredths is 15 hundredths or 0 0.15 15 hundredths we say it 15 hundredths we don't we shouldn't be saying 0 0.15 I'm just describing to you the digits we would say 15 hundredths and then lastly 25 hundredths or 0 0.25 we pronounce 25 hundredths I'm gonna get you to try this one I have some colored blocks here and I'd like you to give me a decimal you can give me how about a fraction first and then a decimal pause it and come back when you're ready all right in terms of green here I have um, two rows of ten and so I could say that there are um, two tenths of or if you want to say twenty hundredths that's an equivalent fraction actually um, of this block is green and so if I'm we're going to talk about this guy here two tenths I'm saying that if you're talking about the blue here we need to do some adding up here um, I have one two three four five six seven times one two three sometimes three is twenty one plus one two three four is twenty five so twenty five out of the hundred and if I was to make a decimal 25 hundredths and so we would also say the fraction is called 25 hundredths and so we would also say the decimal is 25 hundredths and then lastly orange I have 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 so 16 hundredths equals 0 0.16 or the proper way of saying it is 16 hundredths we can also use money to write fractions as well and uh, money is out of a hundred cents um, if we're talking about a decimal here and so four tenths of a dollar is 0 0.40 or 40 cents is the proper way of saying 40 cents 
three quarters of a dollar is 75 cents and we have the word quarter or we call these quarters uh, in Canada and so we have one quarter is 25 cents three quarters would be 75 cents three quarters three parts of a dollar all right I'm gonna pull some money down here now we've discontinued pennies in Canada but um, I think we know what they mean they're one cent so maybe I'll bring one of each down and what do you think what would be what would we write as a decimal in terms of dollars here I have 25 plus 10 is 35 plus uh, nickel is 40 plus one cent so it's 41 cents and so we would write this as dollar sign zero and so 41 cents if I was to add let's say another one of these each we've just added another well we got 50 cents plus 20 is 70 75 76 so I could say 76 cents equals 76 cents that's how we would write it for some fractions, we can write an equivalent fraction. And I should say, in, for some fractions, we ne we must, we, we have to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10 or 100. And the reason we have to do this is there um, this, this fraction here, blue squares versus white, we have three fifths, three fifths of this fraction. And so, um, if you notice a pattern here, we've been talking about tenths equals this and a hundredths equals this. There isn't any denominator that's called fifths. We can't make a decimal out of that. So we, like we learned in the last lesson, we were making equivalent fractions. And so we're going to need to do that. We need to change that five into a denominator of 10 or 100 or else we can't make a decimal and let me say that again we need to make a denominator out of 10 or 100 or else we cannot make this decimal so i have three fifths well what if i doubled it how many parts do i have then i have 10 equal parts well there we go i just i just multiplied everything by two and so we learned if we multiply by two we have to do the same for numerator and denominator and that is six tenths and so now we can make this into a decimal so three fifths is equivalent to six tenths six tenths is six tenths or we write it as 0 0.6 so three tenths sorry so three fifths and six tenths are equivalent i'm gonna get you to try this one so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to identify the fraction and then you're going to have to change it into a denominator of 10 or 100 in order to make it into a decimal. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. So the original would have been two fifths. And so I have two of these bars here because I'm gonna have to double it. In order for me to get out of 10, I need to multiply by two, which I have to do the same top, which equals four tenths. And four tenths is that we get you try even one more so give me a fraction of the top bar change it into the denominator of 10 or 100 and then we need to write the decimal pause it come back when you're ready so the original fraction is four fifths i need to change that into tenths i need to multiply by two uh, i get my tenths i can do the top and so the tenth spot is right there you're going to see a denominator that is like this three quarters or um, one half or one quarter um, this one we can get to tenths really easily but you can't go from uh, a quarter you can't times it by two or three or whatever you actually have to times it by 25 that's the only way you're going to get to a denominator of a hundred so when you have a, a denominator of four just know that you're gonna be multiplying by 25 and if it's easier think of this is a quarter and a quarter is 25 cents multiply by 25 so three quarters is equivalent to 75 hundredths and 75 hundredths is written down as 0 0.75 so three quarters and 75 hundredths are equivalent I'm going to get you to try this one. Um, 
It's 9 50th. I'd like you to get me the decimal and then I'll fill in the blanks for you. So pause it and come back when you're ready. So as I've been saying, nine, so with nine fiftieths, there's no, there's no fiftieths. We can't say that. We need to convert it to either 10 or 100. Now 50 is definitely higher than 10. So we can get it to 100, right? Well, to get it to 100, we need to multiply by 2. And so uh, 9 times 2 is 18. So 9 fiftieths is equivalent to 18 hundredths. And 18 hundredths is 0 0.18. So 9 fiftieths and 18 hundredths are equivalent. Now if you're struggling with how to write this properly, you got to remember place value. So please remember that this is the ones. This is the tenth spot, and this is the hundredth spot. So we need to describe the last digit and where it falls upon. If the last digit falls two decimal spots, and that's the hundredths, we would have to conclude all of it, and that is 25 hundredths. If uh, we're only, to, let's ignore this five for a sec. If we're just talking about 0.2, um, that two falls in the tenth spot, so that is two tenths. So you need to understand that these denominators correlate, are related to the place value they represent. All right, I'm gonna get you to try a few here. Um, now, please remember that it's actually written like so, okay? Uh, I'd like you to convert these to decimals. Please pause it and come back when you're ready. All right, so again, if this helps you write out the place value, it says ones, tenths, and hundredths. And so remember, the last digit must fall upon the digit we're looking for. And in this case, it's hundredths. So 63, um, this is the hundredth spot here. The last digit falls on the hundredths. Um, this would be, be so and then we have so. So again, the last digit here has to end on the hundredth spot because we're dealing with hundredths. How about these guys? Try and convert these to decimals. Pause it and come back when you're ready. All right, the difference between this one is these are tenths and the tenth spot is the first one. So we don't need to go to hundredths. We just need to get that digit on the tenth spot. So this is simply that. And so this is simply that. And this is simply that. So please remember this digit falls in the last spot, which is only one digit. But that one digit is the first digit is the tenth spot. Now for these ones, I have some different denominators and I need you to change them to either 10 or 100. So you might have to do some equivalent fractions here before you can do so. So try and try these out, change them to decimals, pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so 6 50ths is not a 10 or a 100. I, in order to get it to 100, I need to multiply it by two. I have to do the same for numerator and denominator. So I get 12 hundredths or 12 hundredths. Uh, 4 25ths. 4 25ths, in order to get to 100, I need to multiply by four. So I got 16 hundredths, so 4 25ths is 16 hundredths. And then lastly, 6 20ths, in order to get 100, I need to multiply by five. And I do the same to the top, so 30 hundredths or 30 hundredths. Now, when we get simple, um, when we get a zero in, in a spot here, we don't necessarily need to write it if you don't want to. So you could put 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 and 0 0.30, sorry, it's a zero, <laughs> are equivalent decimals. They're the same thing. Um, if you want me to be honest, there's zeros to infinity behind here, but we don't need to write zeros to infinity. We just don't need to write any of them. So for 6 20ths, you could write um, 30 hundredths or 3 tenths. All right, there you have it, guys and girls. This is changing 
from fractions to decimals and the relationship. And essentially, the word tenth and hundredth has a meaning now because it applies to place value. And if you know the place value, you can figure out where the decimal lies. Um, and so you can see here that this is our numerator and it falls in the hundredth spot, which is our denominator. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.